Hello everyone, we're back with some more Ark Nova replay analysis. Today we're going to look at a couple of games from the Snark Nova play-ins tournament. This is a tournament for... Well, at the start of the tournament it was for people under 500 ELO, but a few people have crept over since then. Uh, and the top four finishers of this tournament will be invited to the next official Snark Nova tournament. Uh, if we remember, Monkey Do won the the in inaugural Snark Nova tournament, so uh, I'll start that up when this tournament finishes and we'll see who can win the second one. Anyway, we have uh, yeah two games from that tournament. These are featuring two of the people currently in the semi-finals. Uh, there's still a, still a few games left in the tourney. We'll set up chat and get going. Okay, the first game we are on Commercial Harbour. We're looking at this from Corin X's perspective. The projects are Birds, Americas, and Primates. End goals are Research Zoo and Aquatic. There's there's some things here. It's uh it's not the best opening hand. Polar bear exhibit is okay. It would be better if there was species diversity or predators, but I still think as the only playable sponsor in round one, it's good to keep. Gorilla Field Research is a decent card. It's much better because we have Research Zoo already. So I, I like keeping that here. And then Shoebill because it's a bird and really a toss up between the other one. Like I could see the P foul, but I don't think you start Asia Partner Zoo here. It is going to be those. Coronex is second player, but has cards at five. So I think Expert on the Americas is a good snap here because it fits the project. It's just, it's a good sponsor anyway, but it's worth an extra conservation point at least, given that the project is here. But Science Library also very interesting. It enables a shoe bill start. It's good for the goal. It's just a good sponsor as well. So anyway, uh, the opponent, P.Y. Huang, is first player. They start with the America's Partner Zoo. Makes sense. It's the only continent uh, as part of the projects. It's a little bit scary leaving Expert on the Americas, but I think Science Library is the right snap there. Opponent builds a size 4. Touching water, interesting. Corrin's move is to start with the double science uni. It does make sense in this case. There's a couple of nice little combos. First, it's going to give some extra appeal when, when playing the science library, which also enables guerrilla field research to be played. And the Shubel and Gorilla Field Research have a decent synergy, giving one conservation point each. So it gives you a round one upgrade if you can get them both out. We see the opponent just drawing from the deck, uh, not snapping up Expert on the Americas. Science Library comes out. When you have multiple sponsors you want to get out in one round, it makes sense to do sponsors at the power that you need it at, so at four in this case. Uh, the opponent can cause the break, but I don't think they want to with six cards in hand and an enclosure already built. They have a sponsor anyway, the Monkey Park. Actually really nice shape on this map, just fits in this harbour nicely and extra bonus because it uh, Primates is one of the projects, which means he can start selling cards, and he does. We're just going to have a size one uh, touching the commercial harbour, so Shubil is going to come out shortly. Ooh, and we have the alligator for the opponent, so... That would be why they didn't snap earlier, and I think, yeah, Expert on the Americas are... Very easy snap there. The 
Cobra appearing is very interesting. One of the better animals, uh, and it's very playable for Corrin. We have the shoe bill coming out, and we're going to have an upgrade next move when Guerrilla Field Research comes out. The opponent's spending an X on uh, sponsors here. Could mean a few things. Okay, well, we already know that they have Expert on the Americas, so yeah, spending an X to get a sponsor out makes enough sense. And it is side entrance. Okay. Not really sure on the positioning here. He puts it touching the size 4 already, but it's wasting its potential a little bit. If you put it out in the open here, it, it has one more space that one more building space that can touch it. The So like what he's trading off now is getting two extra money in the first break, but I think I like long term just having the extra spot available. Maybe, Graham. Um, so the question is, would you try to play two Americas before the break? It's it's kind of hard to predict what your opponent's going to do. So in this case, Corrin did have a few sponsors that uh, they wanted to play. But I think in general, just going for a round two support. Well, I'll talk about it in a sec. Opponent does build a kiosk. And I think another small mistake, I would have liked to pavilion because we already know that they have Expert on the Americas as well that's going to give a kiosk. So if you just build a pavilion there, you can put a kiosk there when you play Expert on the Americas. But I guess at the same time, there's also a couple of decent spots as well. Well, one here touching two buildings. I think if anything, I would snap to cover or draw from the deck, but I'm more inclined to draw from the deck here because there's not exactly a playable animal coming up. Very nice draw though. Get a playable bird that fits two of the projects and uh, getting two birds before the next, or well, getting two birds before using your association work in next round is very possible. Ah, oh, hey Luke, I'll, I'll assume you're Corrin. You were debating taking a worker at 2CP. I think, I think that would have been very viable. The opponent just draws from the deck. They're selling a lot of cards. With side entrance, they do have a kind of nice income lead right now. Corrin's going to build... Just nice kiosk pavilion size two actually has enough money money to play the re as well. I don't know if I'd use the clever straight away, but uh, not that big of a deal. Clever's down sponsors. So even though the opponent can play expert on the Americas, they decide to cause the break here. They probably sense that. Corrin can play an animal and it's about to. I think it makes enough sense. Wolf also now a very a, a very good snap uh, with the Europe release. Very interested in this. This is just going to be animals at four, getting the rear out while association is at five, so you can support two birds. Draws the brown bear, which is speculative at the moment, but I'd be very inclined to keep this long term. It's such a good value card if you can play it. 
I think you know, I definitely think build was the correct first upgrade, but I didn't mind Luke's idea of taking the worker instead of upgrading build. So this is what I'm not sure about. The opponent supports the Americas at two. We know they at least have three in their hand with expert on the Americas. So I'd be very inclined to just go for five. We don't know their hands, so I would assume they don't have any more Americas in there. But when there's a split between five and two, I think it always feels bad to support it too. Especially if it's a continent, because you have a free icon with a partner zoo. They do support Americas at two anyway. And they get a worker as their first reward. Corrin is going to support birds at two and take snapping. I'd be very tempted to snap the cobra first. You, you want both of these, but I think more likely to be contested is the cobra. The wolf can sort of sneak past because there's no reason either player would want these unless there's a release. Grabs the wolf, sells the bear. I would have been tempted to keep the bear, but early money is important, and you do have a few cards that you want to keep. And is about to draw cards as well. Opponent spends an X on build. They build a size 4. So clearly not for the wolf. And they build another chaos. See, I, I like a pavilion up here again because... As we assume they're going to play Expert on the Americas soon. So I definitely like building a pavilion touching side entrance. Then you can play your Expert on the Americas and clever down whatever you're going to clever down. In this case, animals. This does make Expert on the Americas playable without spending an Expert. Nice America's animal, uh, Corrin just draws from the deck, yeah, nice America's animal here. Vulture is okay, Victory Column is still pretty playable at this point. Does get rid of it. Vulture has, the birds don't matter anymore for Corrin, Vulture has some upside if there's an Asia or uh, bird release. Sells Australia release, I think that's fine as well. Not too many good Australian animals to release. Expert comes down and we have a pretty sad chaos spot here at the moment. Uh, still a 19 to 17 income lead. Although Corrin does have snapping, which equates to at least three income, so it's kind of even still. Don't start with that. We all know Victory Column wasn't nerfed. <laughs> Builds a size 4 for the wolf, draws herbivore breeding program and sells it immediately. I think that's fine. You want to keep selling cards when you don't have hand size. Opponent grabs the Europe partner zoo second. The upgrade cards. I do like the cards upgrade on this map. Drawing an extra card is just three money for free. <laughs> the opponent's a very strong player, five, 5.30, so yeah. Sad to hear they knocked you out, Eric. Just playing a wolf now before the round ends. Uh, you could, if you break five, then the opponent can cause the break. So yeah, I like getting the wolf out. Opponent has the same thought, and they play the stork. Well, we know they don't have Europe release. Uh, it is a bird. 
could suggest they have low mountain range, but they only have one card in hand, so it's very unlikely. This is just going to be break five. And I'm going to guess that the opponent wants to do their double build action before they cause the break. They do build that pavilion next to the side entrance and a size two. And then just getting some more income, although this is worth nothing at the moment. That will be a good future kiosk. I guess we also do want chaos for our, the end goal here. So up to 28 income versus 19 plus snapping. This this I'm iffy about. I don't know if we need to build three here or just cause the break. I like causing the break here because you get an X token, you, you deny your opponent the X token. And the opponent wants to do cards anyway because they have one card, so it just it like gives them tempo going into next round. And building three is not exactly good tempo because it's it's not the fullest build action that it could be. It is gonna be a bit more income. You got a pavilion there. You build your size two for the boa constrictor to come out next. But I I would like causing the break there and then doing a full build. Opponent just causes the break now. I guess one other consideration is that you want the opponent to cause the break so you can support a project first and secure this 10 money. Uh, it's not clear that the opponent, with the opponent only, uh, only having one card in hand though, pretty unlikely they have a project unless we think that they have, that they have low mountain range. This uh, Cobra still has been untouched, so... Well, now Penguin Pool appears and it makes it interesting. Good thing is you can grab Penguin Pool and there's still three card draw here. I think it's, yeah, I think it's fair to fear the low mountain range because there's not a huge amount of reasons you'd play the Stalk otherwise. It does fit one of the projects. Yeah, the Europe Partners do requirement to play this, but yeah, only one card in hand, it's tough. So I like the Penguin Pool Snap here and then release the Wolf. And a ton of money coming in. The Rep even giving an upgrade, which is going to be Animals. I think you'd, you could totally do cards as well. In fact, I do. I think I actually here I do like a cards upgrade. I I I do like the unit reward though. Oh yeah, it's going to be a cards upgrade anyway. Yeah, dope. Yeah, the uni reward is basically like another worker, but instead of grabbing a worker, you just grab a uni because this is going to give enough reputation to get to eight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And another kind of smart thing, drawing from the deck first. Well, anyway, yeah, on this map, drawing three cards is basically the equivalent of at least nine money. So it's one of the better rewards that you can get, as long as it's early enough in the round that you can sell the cards. But drawing from the deck first, just in case you get like a really playable sponsor, but otherwise I think you're always taking 10 money here. And does draw the Cobra and sells a monkey. Oh yeah, it's very unlikely that the opponent would have low mountain range. We can see that they don't, they just grab uh, their first uni. This move I'm a little confused by, I think Obviously, you're going to play the Vulture and you don't need the extra rep, but I think drawing cards first is a better move. 
you might find a better animal. You just you don't cost yourself a rep here, and doing cards actions on this map is just free money. So I, I like doing cards first. I'm not really sure the animals at four here, especially because you can't even constrict. Like imagine if the opponent played a sponsor that gave them an, an appeal or something, then you can constrict and get your reputation from animals. So yeah, no constriction here. Saving Hypnosis for later is uh, perfectly fine. Research Sue, yeah. Very easy keep. Yeah, so that, that's a tricky one. Constriction is only for players ahead on the tracks, not for equal. But Hypnosis is for equal. But even still, after you see that it doesn't constrict, <laughs> just undo your turn. <laughs> From the Vulture we get, Victory Column comes back saying, like, you should really play me. Although now, now it's a little bit too late. Task here is fine, although we're probably not going for Primates at all. The opponent threatens to break seven. I think if the opponent breaks seven, it's fine as well, though. I have two games for this stream. I have one for next stream. I don't have too many lined up. So yeah, feel free to send me. But yeah, I think if uh, the opponent broke seven here, it's not the worst thing in the world. That That's kind of what they're threatening. But it's quite bad for them as well, I would say. I mean, the opponent has a massive point deficit. The, like, the last thing that they want to do now is accelerate the game. They, they need time to catch up. Not the best draws. Bard Owl Hut's actually... Bard Owl Hut is very good early game on this map. I think at the moment... It's, it's still good with Penguin Pool, but it's a little bit slow to get them out now. Like, I think Penguin Pool's still fine to get out. I'll actually send, send me a, a message on BGA Monkey Unit so I, I don't lose the game. I'll have a look at it. So the opponent did a build three action before they play free range monkeys. They built there, so they gave themselves two extra points. I don't know that it's worth taking a smaller build action to get two more points. In fact, I'm fairly sure it's not. I think just play your monkeys and then do a bigger build action. Monkey's obviously very playable because they have the monkey park and it's a project, so it's giving them a lot of extra value. True, this also does kill the aviary. Uh, and when you have a stalk, aviary is good because it frees up a size 4 at the very least. So yeah, not a, not a fan of that for the opponent. They're 20 points down right now. There are also a lot of conservation points down but they do have some money and, and an income lead. Penguin pool here. Location fine. We still have an aviary spot up here. And I think aviary is on the menu with the vulture in hand and this vulture as well. Selling the chameleon is fine. Opponent spending an X to do cards now before animals, so they might just be drawing for animals, they might need a bit of extra money to play animals, they could also be looking to... No, they can't grab a uni. I'll assume they're looking for animals and some extra money. Take sponsorship primates, which is good draw. Might suggest that they do have another primate, but even at two, it's it's decent. Ooh, America release. Opponent should be eyeing that. 
Could be pouching as well, yes. Or sunbathing. Sunbathing much less good on this map. Coron takes the Asia partner zoo. Discount on three animals. Makes the Tarsier playable. Here we have the Ibex. Ibex and Dusky Leaf Monkey. Okay, we're up to three primates now. Ibex. With the size 2 placement, I'm going to actually say they might have had it in their hand already. Ibex does fit the Europe release, yes. Okay. I'll assume they had that and it was planned. They they are do clever down build. But with the clever down build, they're definitely sign signaling Europe release. So I don't mind causing the break here before the opponent gets to support their project. A build nine... A, Build action where you can't spend all your money. Because I think ideally here you'd want to build an aviary. Well, at the same time, you no, you can build an aviary facing this way. So I think you definitely want an aviary as one of your next buildings. Here it's just going to be like a like a size 2 chaos pavilion again. Mm. Now, 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 now the problem is uh, the opponent gets their project and they can even I think they make a pretty big mistake here instead of uh, taking five money you should always play sponsorship primates because it's like plus seven income and very unlikely that Corrin wants to draw cards when they're already at their hand limit and they don't have enough money to play any, any animals so like the next move is going to be causing the break so I think the opponent should have played sponsorship primates there for money. It's uh, it's cost them a bit of money and and tempo really. What did they take? They took five income as well. I think snapping much much better. You can snap the like a really good project for yourself immediately, and then snapping versus five income on this map is not that different. So I think they missed two opportunities to get. Not ahead, but some opportunities to catch up. And now, yeah, uh, America release gets taken away. Alligator is a pretty decent release. You get a bit nice bee enclosure back. And it gives you plus eight points just straight up, plus a reputation. Yeah. I think I would always, always, always be taking snap there. But they have a very sizable money lead now. Uh, 40 income to 26, thanks to side entrance and all these nice kiosks. They do start the round with sponsorship primates, and we can see their income go up plus 7. So yeah, they did miss out on some money there. This is just going to be Xing out animals. Partially, I would guess, because there's no aviary. So I think it has hurt the tempo a little bit. At this kind of stage in the game where it's like mid to the late game, you don't really want to be Xing out animals. Because animals and association are like the two main actions that you do want to be taking, so Xing out always feels bad. Waiting to, hypno to hypnosis is uh, perfectly reasonable. Opponent just draws all from the deck. They're still at three reputation, actually. Another aviary bird. Very nice draw. Pretty decent draws overall, I would say. These aviary birds with penguin pool are going to give a lot of points. And they're cheap enough that you can play them both with uh, 33 money. Oh, this is...
Well, yeah, they missed out on they missed out on a dollar or two plus uh, plus a move of tempo. This is extremely extremely greedy. I think there's no world where this is the right time to times two. I assume it's going to be their next action because they want to get a university. They want to support a project, I would guess. But when the break is in range, you just cannot be spending your only times two on this map on any action. Corrin does the correct move, which is sell a card. Even though he has to discard two, causing the break here is 100% the correct move. What do you discard though? You definitely keep the Aviary Birds. I think Bard Alhart can go now. Maybe America release as well. Hypnosis still probably in range. Well, yeah, there's only a one appeal difference. Especially in Corrin's position, when you have a money deficit, you do want, want to be causing the breaks. Like now the opponent has 98 money and... How on earth are you going to spend 98 money? They do snap Ornithologist. Uh, Tiger would have been very interesting. Extremely playable right now. You have the third Asia in hand. Ornithologist, I think, does give you like a couple of extra points and money with Penguin Pool. But I think the Tiger is quite nice. It does, it does, yeah, playing it does cost three, but you get most of the money back. I think it's worth it. And even if they don't have another sponsor and you don't want to cause a break, you can X out sponsors next move, so you, you get an X token anyway. They do take their uni to get their last two upgrades, which is going to be standard animals and association. Corrin still missing an upgrade. See if they grab a partner zoo here. I would assume yes. No, no, we just go for third uni. Okay. Uni does give points and a rep. Partner zoo gives you the upgrade. Hmm. McCourt comes down for the opponent. This is a double pilfer. Yeah, I don't, you can't give up any of these cards, so it has to be 10 money. But thankfully, with the with the amount of money, it's not really an issue. They play it to Pier as well, so now they're at four Americas. The problem now with no Avery spot is they have so much money and they just I, they're, they're not going to be able to spend it can only fit a size 3 enclosure at max unless you start releasing some things so that's another reason why the America release was a pretty big deal it's kind of looking like a lot of my maps where I have a ton of money and just can't can't spend it all. They do get their last chaos for expert on the Americas. Now the aviary comes down. Draws a wombat. <laughs> Sells it straight away, goodbye. Spending another X to do cards. Definitely says no sponsors in hand currently. There's no way that the opponent wants another break 
Like, they, they basically have enough money to finish the game. Well, it's actually, this is a brutal hypnosis right when association's at three. This is the, the perfect time to use it. I think migration's a fine keep here. Although, no releases to use it on at the moment. Okay, good good time to grab the second partner soon. <laughs> yeah, stealing first donation as well is particularly annoying, although money's still not an issue. Although it is kind of an issue for Corrin, actually. Yeah, Xing out uh, sponsors. That is another reason to spend in X to use cards so you can X out sponsors, but not really ideal at this stage of the game. Oh, oh no. I think we're seeing the game right there. Eagle draw. Times two still available. Kind of desperate spending all the X's. Uh... I guess it kind of is up to Corrin to cause the break here. So, sort of predicting that Corrin's about to cause the break. Gets two rep for the third worker into project. Oh, they do have low mountain range. I wonder if they had it all along or they just uh, drew into it. That's pretty clutch. That gives them that enclosure back that they desperately want. They draw the tiger away. Yeah, that's a, that's a fine draw when Corrin has like 60 money and plenty of room. Although it is not playable for the opponent right now. Never will be. Sell and I think you just have to break here. Even with two playable sponsors, getting them down is like very marginal benefit. The opponent would like the like round to progress longer so they can fill their map, play animals once or twice. Yeah, now the opponent's gonna have 123 money. Also first snap is nice, probably take away the bird breeding program. Also searching for one more Americas, actually. This is only up to four Americas. Opponent does still have... The bush baby's not playable, but they still have four primates down. See what they have planned for this size four. Bird of Paradise, okay. They take the panda. Possibly denial. Oh, brown spider monkey, very nice though. True, marabou release. Can do, yeah, okay, yeah, can do both, honestly, yeah. Still got a times two that hasn't been covered up here, which I forgot about. Brown spider monkey, very nice, though. Fifth primate, plus some X tokens, like maxed out on X tokens right now. But just imagine if he still had the times two, this would be a much closer game. Even though the opponent is ahead, the times two is a pretty big difference right now. Sells Ornithologist. Yeah, you just need to cover the times two. Probably build a size three for the Sloth Bear. Yeah, that's kind of an odd 3x tokens take.
The opponent has made some odd takes, like size 2 to fill up their map I think is better. Snapping just to have access to the best cards is better than the X tokens. They're, like, they're, they're maxed out. Uh, also not spending Xs here to fill map. Oh, we actually have times two on animals I didn't see. I think the opponent's a little bit short of filling the map. Well, actually, are they? I'm pretty sure they can. Maybe they'd they have one space left over. Petting zoo, size one. You, you can always put a kiosk there. Pavilion, size two, yeah. So that there'd be one short. I mean, times two on animals is is just as good as uh, association if you have plenty of money. Oh yeah, the opponent can definitely fill up their map if they take size two rewards. So yeah, filling up their map is important because they have side entrance, so it's like a free twelve points instead of seven. True that they might be misunderstanding the uh, free range endgame by leaving these two open. But yeah, it has to be not touching these, not just not covered. Which is fair enough, no one plays uh, free range very often. Okay, we do have Marabou Eagle. Into Sloth Bear and... Probably giraffe. Yeah, I do like the double animal here. Spending money very nicely. Yeah, two rep get, gets the extra conservation point here. Drawing from the deck in case we find a better sponsor. Sadly, no Fifth America, but yeah, releasing the Marabou is a fine project to finish on. Uh, it gives... Yeah, it gives plus eight, whereas bird breeding is plus seven right now. Takes money to donate as well, so yeah, 104 finish. Association 7 to finish. Yeah, it's going to be maxed out primates. Into 3rd uni. Into 2 rep and donate. How are the end games? America's and favourite zoo. Science Library, Penguin Pool, and Research Zoo. Still kind of a, like a reasonably close finish. Supporting Americas at two does hurt when they finish on five Americas, but they did do five primates at the same time. So they did have something that they were working towards. Yeah, I think the, the key mistake for the opponent was the time that they covered the times two. If they had this open, like at the end of the game, and also not filling their maps a little bit weird, not filling their map, they could definitely do instead of taking a last uni, it's much better reward taking size two than last uni. Yeah, uh, having the break happen on their times too, just really, really killer on this map.
True, it's very easy to get stuck trying to support like every single project at max strength. I think the fact that they already had three Americas in their hands makes would make me sort of push to go for five, but uh, uh, supporting it at two does give good tempo as well. Yeah, as well as yeah, the opponent not taking snap to s snap up the America release when they had the alligator. I'll assume that they had low mountain range all along. So they weren't too concerned. Side entrance placement at the uh, at the end of the day didn't matter because they just have so much money. But yeah, th this is one of way one of the ways that you beat side entrance. You just cause the break so the money does not matter. See, Corrin spent nearly all the money. The opponent couldn't spend seventy of it. If they if they can spend sixty money, they win by like five or ten points. If they can spend all that money. Yeah, nicely played. How many turns? I don't think it was the fastest match. Not bad though. Thir 32 turns, 5 breaks. So Coronex is a semi-finalist right now in the Snark Nova play-ins. I won't reveal the results of the next match, but we have this match earlier in the tournament. Featuring Agentus, 500 rated as well, against the opponent Ricardo Ricks, 200 rated, but it's a, it's a close match, it's a good match. We are going to go into full screen. Money gained was almost identical. Makes sense. There, there was a lot of extra money coming from like Science Library. Uh, Corrin, Corrin did kind of keep up with income. They, they was, they were able to spend it, and they did uh, break five a lot more. So, the opening hand for Agentus is a lot of animals. We're on Research Institute. Projects are Europe, primates, and reptiles. As BDW likes to say, say we have the slow worm projects. Felt like the opponent was selling a lot of cards all the way through. End goals are research and architectural. Not a huge fan of, fill it, uh, fan of filling up this map. It feels very big and wide open. There is a bit of extra money. But I think research zoo can make sense when you have a free uni here. Although there's no reward for getting the third uni. Anyway, I think the first thing I'm always keeping is the crocodile just for the double reptile icon. Then it's not exactly clear. The lynx is okay because of Europe. A nice sort of, like, a more interesting start you could do on this map is building a size 3 touching the institute. Starting with the Europe partner zoo. That makes this playable. That is an option, I don't mind. Then I think probably start with the other reptile. If you're working your way towards five anyway, you might as well keep this. It is playable if you're touching the Institute, even if you don't have the Africa. And then maybe just petting zoo for some more upside in case you see some others. Decide to keep the rear and the shoe bill instead. Re is at least playable. I think that makes sense. We are first player here. Just starting with a size 2 for the rear, we're guessing. Association was only at 2, so can't grab it at uni or partner zoo first. Now, the display is... Well, the display has two really... I would say three very decent snaps. Eagle is the obvious one. Uh, extra bonus because Europe is a project, but just strong anyway. Although I think I do like the Tech Institute snap here when both players have sponsors about to be at five. The opponent does snap up the Eagle first. So I think 
when you don't have a sponsor in hand, snapping up the Tech Institute makes a lot of sense here. It does create sort of awkward position. So I think both players have five cards in hand. I think the best move for the opponent is to take the hand size uni and then just cause the break. It forces us to take a uni or partner zoo so we spend our worker and then we don't get tech institute out as well. It's pretty, pretty harmful. But the opponent decides to take the two rep uni. So they clearly have plans, which would make this a good time to take hand size uni and sort of threaten the same thing. But I think a pretty huge error here playing Tech Institute. Maybe sort of calling the opponent's bluff that he's not going to break five, but breaking five makes so much sense when you haven't spent a worker. I think. Honestly, got away with a pretty big one there, not spending a worker when the opponent can cause the break. The opponent builds a size four, and they do take polar bear exhibit. So now they're sort of signaling, yeah, I'm, I'm about to play polar bear exhibit. We see side entrance has also snuck its way onto the, into the, the display here. Now taking hand size, one move too late, but better late than never. <laughs> This is going to be that polar bear exhibit. Uh, could work your way up to the uni. Could also just cover the five money. Money's fine. You probably need the money to play in a size four animal. Here we just have the real. Drawing native lizards is a, is a great draw. So much benefit with our... Uh, on this map, it's seven appeal max, which is okay. It's, like, it's still pretty good for free. But also with reptiles being a project that we're already working towards, really nice value. And now, yeah, Tech Institute given the X token means that we have priority to snap up side entrance. So I'd be looking to do that for sure. Opponent's going to play the Duke. Which I guess is the reason they took the two rep uni for the science. Um, so it does fit because Primax is a project. If I saw someone playing this as a first animal, I, I would assume they had a release for it, especially with the uni being at five. So that is something to look out for. I think. I think this is also a pretty big mistake here. Snapping up side entrance when it's still round one, it's clearly the most powerful card on the display and in like anyone's hand. I think it's kind of greedy not to spend an X token when your opponent has cards at five. The thing is, if you have this much of an ELO lead on your opponent, you don't really want to be gifting them a card like side entrance because it is swingy enough that it could make the difference between 300 ELO gap. They build a size two, which is a little weird as well. They want the rep, but they don't have a size two animal coming out soon. They might be eyeing the panda. I don't know why though. It's just giving the opponent they could be eyeing the Caracal with the Predator Breeding Program. I don't know how they're going to get them, though. This is a side entrance snap. And this is just going to be a break. Break before the opponent gets it out. Make them discard two cards. Yeah, we are going to see side entrance first move.
So it's going to be second uni here. I'm not the biggest fan of uni stars in general on this map. Because now you're what, you're going to upgrade build and then work your way up to this third uni. It's fine with re with having research, so you, but it makes this uni on five completely dead. Yeah, th this is, I think, this is probably the best map for side entrance. There are a couple of other maps or one, one other map. No, I think there are a couple of other maps that have, that can allow it to be like fully surrounded with five spots, but it is impactful touching the uh, Institute early as well. Kind of an odd size one enclosure touching the Institute. Could be going for two primates or a release or something. This is just going to be drawing from deck. Pretty good draws. I'd be getting rid of Mr. Shoe Build here, I think. Well, Shoe Build's playable. What do they get rid of? The links. Hmm. I like keeping the links because, because of the Europe project, and it encourages both of you to get Europe, which makes the iconic value better. Tarsia is a good call. I was thinking Tamarin, but yeah, Tarsia make, would make a lot of sense. Although it's kind of greedy again, they're like, now, now we can cause the break before the opponent spent the worker, which seems very tempting, but the trade-off is we don't play animals and we have less income, but I think that's a perfectly fine trade-off. So, I mean, I would cause the break here. Besides the build. This was sort of the problem with building a random size 2. I would have liked to see a size 5 so we can at least play the crocodile or something. Grab a partner's room instead of the, the university. Could we have afforded that? I'm not sure. Building Chaos Pavilion size 1. Sure, but the, the main problem with playing the Tarsia at that point is the jumping four, which puts the break in range. Uh, we don't punish that, which means this is going to be two primates. So I think unlike America's, two primates is a good one to support instead of going for five because primates are harder to find and you don't get a free one like with a partner who gives you a free icon. And now the thing is, we're going to play animals, but we also want to cause the break before the opponent builds around side entrance. This is going to be, I'm going to guess, Shoe Bill and Martin. It's going to give, let's see, 12 income up to... ...17. Okay, that's a, that's a very good hunt. That's an extremely good hunt. But we still have an income deficit and this is probably going to be a build action. I oh, know, okay. It's going to be a cards action. I agree. I think not snapping side entrance was very greedy. Opponent just draws from the deck, and they do draw Predator Breeding Program. Makes sense to take it away when we've just played the Martin. This is definitely not going to be Native Lizards, so I still think we want to get out of this round pretty quick. I just caused the break. Up to having five X tokens is always nice. Display looking pretty interesting again. We have a couple of European birds. Have a primate. Primate's not too interesting anymore. Small animals is. So at the moment the opponent has a 
small income lead, not great, a uh, small point lead, but we do have very powerful cards coming up as well as three reptile icons and a rhino and a potential uh, multiplier on association. Opponent just breaks five and call me insane, but here I'm just, here I'm just breaking four. I think it's a huge way to play against side entrance. Just make it so money does not matter. The X tokens don't even matter because you get two back instantly from Tech Institute and from Cause in the Break. So you're basically just resetting the game. You have a couple less X tokens, but you both have so much money that it does not matter at all. Instead, they decide to grab a partner zoo. And now, yeah, now, now the scary thing is, okay, that's a little weird. Never happy to see the aviary, but I would have expected more building around side entrance. There's going to be a kiosk as well. Opponent could definitely be looking at the white stalk. We have Australia release snap. Also grab the Australia part too. So. I don't really understand why you wouldn't just build and grab it from range though. Like you're gonna spend an X to build, build a size five, grab it from range on this spot here. True, okay, we, we do know that the, that the opponent does have the golden eagle still. Need to remember that. They grab their second uni. Again, I'm not a not a fan of that either. Like maybe I just build my aviary up here then and grab the second uni that way. They have build upgraded, obviously, to build it. The only difference is it's not touching side entrance, so it's two less income, but I do like building the aviary up here. Then you can even grab something like the white stalk from display at the same time. Side entrance is... It's okay, it's got three unique things touching it. Well, three things touching it that give income. Income is 27 to 17 right now. Okay, size 5 goes here, so you should at least take away, well, I don't know, do you take away the stalk or the small animals? Small animals for a project, I guess. This is kind of the thing, though. We already have kind of three projects lined up. Well, I guess if, if the plan is to release the crocodile, we're not lining up reptiles anymore. Opponent causes the break. It's going to make this discard quite painful. Like, I don't want to get rid of migration recording. Native lives are still good values, so I don't know. We'll see what they get rid of. Yeah, I think taking away the stalk makes sense as well from them. Oh, it's going to be the bear and the small animals they just took, so yeah. That is why I think I like taking the stalk better. It's now 56 money to 31. This is going to be the croc. Yeah, that's the thing, we also have a rhino project to do, which I guess is going to be habitat diversity at this rate. Snapping up the elephant's fine. Snapping up the elephant's a uh, very good snap. The opponent has all the money in the world, the elephant is just like a good way to convert that money into points. Okay, they obviously did replenish, but just have a small replay card bug. 
Ricardo, the opponent's spending an X to build four. Pavilion and then size three, no size one, okay. Clever back sponsor, yep, okay. Good time for migration to come out. Although, yeah, very painful not being able to get these X's. Europe partner zoo for the opponent. Starting with America release. That does make sense if you want to keep these for the reptile icons. But then this is very, very long term. We do take snapping as well. We'll see if there's anything snappable that we can't see yet. Yeah, this is just a, a dead uni for both players. They take five money over three card draw. I guess they are they are actually lacking in money. They snap up sponsorship reptiles. This will help bridge the income gap. But it's like, it's kind of the same problem. You really want to get out of this round really quickly because the opponent can stay in the round for a long time with 48 money. They both get their second workers from eight rep. Yeah, the release will make this native lizards playable for a long time. That's good. Okay, we have the Eagle Owl coming out. Opponents up to two Europe. And the Stork. So we know that they have the Eagle in hand to get Europe at four. Also very nice multiplier on build that they have enough money to fully utilize. We have Research Zoo and we just drew Science Library. That, that's a great draw and Research. Insane draws here. I actually don't know what we get rid of. Also another Reptile. Pro well, Expert and Predators can go. Now there's like a lot that we want to play, but not a lot of money to stay in the round. Opponent using their Build Multiplier just in case we cause the break. Yeah, building a bit of everything, good for their flexibility. Okay, kiosk in size four, size four for the rhino. Ooh, we have a little Strength 2 action with the Macaw coming out. I believe this is you, but we're, we're not looking at this from your perspective. We're looking at this from Agenta's perspective. True, Re Reptile House works as well. But the thing is, we're also going to release the crocodile anyway, so I think a size 4 for the rhino makes sense, and then a size 5 for the elephant makes sense. Elephant... Elephant might not actually be playable here, because the opponent has double our income, and we have, we have very little income, actually. I think first priority to get out of science library. For sure. Points are level, money is level, but there is a huge income difference right now. I don't know about the Macaw, because money is not really an issue for our... Uh... Whoa, 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 no spoilers in here. <laughs> Point 
opponent drawing from the deck. Bison's an interesting draw. Bison's a very interesting draw. I like the engineer to because the map is nearly full and it just works really well with side entrance and end games. Engineer's a great draw there. I don't know about the bison. Okay, we have some X's. The X's don't really matter because we, we're going to get them back with Tech Institute anyway. So, getting out Sponsorship Reptiles before any break is fine. But I think the opponent's not going to cause a break because they just drew Engineer from the deck. Good time to grab second partner zoo. Yeah, Africa now sort of suggesting that the elephant's not really playable, at least not for a little while. But it does get the last upgrade. Okay, this is going to be bird breeding program. <laughs> oh, yes, hello, release of patents here. Sadly, it is capped at three. It would be pretty insane if it wasn't. I think it does work, though. You, you play release and you play native lizards. So, yeah, bird breeding into... 12 money. 12 money does allow Ricardo to stay in the round a bit longer, but... That's a lot of money. I don't know what we're spending all this money on. I guess an eagle and a size 4 animal. Also opting to take 5 money instead of 3 cards. I guess when you have 6, six cards in hand, fine. We saw Zoo School get picked up as well. Probably going to be native lizards. Nearly maxed out on points. It makes sense to get it out before any break to get that sort of extra income from a third reptile. But I wouldn't have minded like a little build action first. There's no rush to get it out, right? Because the opponent can't cause the break and they don't really want to. Size 5 is nice. I'll, we can assume for the bison, uh, there's room for zoo school up here. They do grab that uni. Grabbing the marabou from range makes sense. Uh, just another aviary bird for their aviary. Do have a little cards action? Choosing not to take release. Oh yeah, now they definitely want a reptile house. Reptile house for this crocodile looks very nice, actually. Yeah, ele elephant goes. Little animals action. Okay, it is just going to be that marabou. It's a shame the tortoise isn't playable. It would be a, like a great time to sunbathe a lot of cards. Xing out build, definitely not ideal because I think like you could play the rhino now, but I think you want to get out the crocodiles and just do reptiles and then release your uh, croc, the other croc. Well, the thing is also, the Rhino does not need to come out at all because we have research. 25 points. The last three projects could be like research, Rhino project, and release. We might even not need to worry about reptiles. Opponent destroying cars. We're at break 8 out of 9 now. Oh, 
a little bit of break chicken going on. Still pretty even match though. I mean, points are even and there is an income lead, but it's not as big as it was because of sponsorship reptiles coming out. This is just going to be the break. I think it makes sense because you know that the opponent has has, has a sponsor that they want to play in zoo school. And ma make him discard five cards. Hmm. Research is a really tough discard here. Zebra has value to flock with the Rhino. I don't think you need all these reptiles though. Like maybe get rid of this guy and just do reptiles at four. I guess the only downside to research is that the opponent can like leech off it because they have three icons themselves, but it's not that big of a deal. See what gets snapped up here. Penguin pool. Not to deny, possibly to play. I think the sequence we're going to see is animals being Rhino and Zebra into maybe Africa Project. Rhino, Zebra, take the Africa Project, release Crocodile. I'm not sure. We'll see. This is the zoo school. Map very close to getting filled up. <laughs> Pistols dark coming in with the Castles of Burgundy references. <laughs> Taking Alligator and Tamarin. Hmm, the bison might have disappeared after all. I guess also possibly denial taking away the sort of fourth reptile, I guess. We'll see what these animals are. But there's also the monotier, so I don't know. Here's Africa, okay. Into zebra. Well, as a special could be pretty nice, actually. Do you have at least one large animal to be played? Actually, this tiger should be pretty terrifying. I would not want the, want the opponent getting this tiger. Ooh, they play a rhino themselves. I would assume that the opponent takes birds because we know that they still have an eagle. Reindeer as well comes out. Points still even. Oh no. I really, really don't like supporting bird breeding here. Okay, I guess the bison very interesting because of the... America release here, but then I think just release the crocodile. I don't know. I would have kept research for sure. Research here is much better than supporting bird breeding at two. And you should take the, the reputation here. I get size three is good for the turtle, but size three is unusable for the opponent. Letting him get two rep is just two points. Okay, let's release the reindeer. So the bison's probably dead. Yeah, they get the two rep now. Alright, it's kind of on the opponent to cause the break again. It was very nice having a maxed out research zoo already. Tech Institute also giving endgames. 
could still get an endgame from native lizards if these two remain uncovered, but that seems very unlikely. Animals too. What did we take? We took five income. Hmm. It kind of is on the opponent to cause the break, but the thing is they still have two workers, so they can support another project. I think if we took a worker here, it would be better instead of five income. But the problem is the tortoise isn't playable then. This is totally the fifth, fifth Africa, but now we have to cause the break if we want to support another project. I also like drawing cards before, because you, you don't want to sunbathe a lot of these cards. Oh no, Australia release goes... Uh, no, actually, maybe that's fine because you're going to support Reptiles at 4 and Africa 5. So, like, those should be the last two projects. So, Australia release is fine to get rid of, I guess. This is just going to be filling the map with two pavilions. So, there's a few end games over here as well. Side entrance and engineer both done. And they still have an eagle. And I'm still shocked that this tiger is being left for them. Because this tiger is playable and they have so much money to play it with. Not the best draws, but I'm also not sure what we could even draw for that's good here. Maybe Sunbear or the other eagle. Oh, I mean, that happens all the time when uh, the right card shows up and you look like a genius. Spending X's to use the worker, I think this does make sense. Depends on the reward. I, I do like the, like, three X's as a reward here. Okay, this is going to be for four birds. Okay. The X's I like. I mean, the game is basically going to end the next turn after the break because there's going to be eagle plus another animal, maybe the tiger, into Europe 4. So maybe birds at 4 is fine. Yeah, now, like, the awkward thing is... Can't support another project because no, uh, no two workers... So you're just stuck grabbing a partner zoo. And then you have to take a worker at the end anyway as a reward to get the two bonus CP here. Causing the break. Fine, yes. Yeah, I do like four birds. I've come around to it. I would have liked to see Australia release much, much earlier, I think. I think they got kind of baited trying to go for like four or five reptiles, but they had so many projects like Australia release and research. Research I would have been keeping there. And now the problem is you know that the opponent has an eagle in hand. Okay, snapping up the tigers, great. Seeing a fur seal is not, seeing a fur seal is actually like nearly just as bad because it gives these extra two CP. Hey, Ricardo's only gone for the three upgrades here. No, no time to grab a second partner zoo. Oh, I don't know how I feel about building either. Thing is, you basically know there's only one turn left after this. But 
running an X, Eagle, and Sloth Bear. Sloth Bear a bit extra value. Uh, I think it is more worthwhile to go for first seal though. Right? Just don't spend an X, you miss out on one point. But you play first seal instead and you get your last worker. I think that does work out slightly better. If you don't spend an X, then you you are, don't need to boost association. Finishing on four Europe. Yeah, basically just game over here unless, well, Also, kind of dangerous snapping. Luckily, the uh, eagle doesn't show up. Yeah, finishing the game now with these empty enclosures and 43 money. Five Africa is a good way to finish, but too many points down. Do grab last worker as well though, and two rep, and donation. And end game, all diverse species. Yeah, polar bear exhibit with diverse species is really, really nice to have. I guess that is part of the reason that uh, we saw the polar bear exhibit draw in the first round instead of causing the break. Still, this, this, I mean, I don't know if anyone needs to uh, hear it anymore, but just shows the power of eagles in the late game, just giving you that extra action tempo. Like an extra, like another full animals action here and the game is pretty even. Like imagine the croc and, and another animal coming out. Yeah, very well played Ricardo. See how I sort of switched it around so it was an unexpected result? But Ricardo is the second semi-finalist. So we can have a look at the tournament now. It is 98% complete. Not many players left. Ricardo actually the lowest player left, but he's already booked his place into the semis, which uh, does mean an, an invite into the Snark Nova tournament. So yeah, there's the semi waiting for the opponent, and here's the other semi waiting for the opponent. So good luck to Corrin and Ricardo. I think, yeah. When it's like reptiles or something that gives you four CP instead of five, uh, then going for four is fine. Going for five can definitely be a bait. True, yeah, I think over committing to the reptiles did hurt. But I also think not snapping up side entrances, like, it's really dangerous. I think you definitely know what you're doing, Ricardo. Yeah, uh, not snapping up side entrance there. And also there were opportunities for both players to cause breaks when the other hadn't spent workers. So I think some tactical misses. But very nice games. Uh, I don't know if this, this will be complete by next week, but if it is, we can have a look at the final maybe.